So if you guys have found these videos helpful, you can help me out in a big way by picking up a copy of my first ever album that my brother and I recorded in Nashville late last year. Any proceeds will go to future recording projects as well as taking the band on tour and hopefully promoting it. I'll leave a link in the description and talk a little bit more about it at the end of this video. This is our little Piaggio Porter, our tiny little micro camper van that we've been working on. So we've downsized dramatically from the last one. So this is our first point of entrance. Uh, as you can see inside we have sort of an L-shaped bench seat and a little kitchen unit at the side as well. One of the first features we've got in here is this old vintage radio. This was restored by a guy on eBay actually. It's all 1959 radio. I just like this thing. <laughs> I made this little custom shelf for it as well and it sits quite comfortably in. Above it we've got this sort of an extension of the kitchen worktop actually pops up into place. You should hear it click like that. That's made out of oak, that kitchen worktop. And inside here we have our spice rack. A very very tiny little spice rack. We've got some little custom bottles as well that we're going to put in there. Above here we've got our mains plug socket which will work when we're hooked up at a campsite and we've also got two USB ports as well. It's the first of our bench seats, unlike the other one this is fixed into place, this one has a pull out bed on it. Now you can remove this whole thing because the engine is actually sat underneath here so if you have any mechanical work you can just lift this out and you can do the work. So we've got these little twine pieces here to help keep things in place. We've got this nice little storage shelf here. There's also these two little storage pockets on either side as well. We've got two curtains here. We've got these little twine tie backs that go onto these cleats. And they just pop back on there. And they've got these little rings on the back. You can pop these rings on the hooks like so. And then that will just create a little bit of privacy for you in the evening when you're going to bed. These have got thermal and blackout lining on them, so it should hopefully retain a little bit of heat and keep the light out. At the top here we've got some more storage. Um, actually behind these little campfires, there's two, one on either side, they've got these little tea light holders. So you can grab some little electric candles like these and you can pop them behind the back. And you've got a little flickering campfire. So underneath our bench seat, which pulls out as the bed unit, uh, we've got a couple of little storage boxes. Look like this. They'll just simply pull out, and you've got plenty of room there for clothes and things like that. You can almost have a his and hers, if you can fit two people in there. And these will lock into place as well when you're in transit. On this side we've got the 12 volt cool box. So there is a 12 volt socket underneath there. And this has got a little bit of room in it for some essentials as well, like milk, etc. We have another storage box over here, slightly smaller one. Also underneath our bed unit here, we have our power management unit. This has all of our 12 volt fuses in there and also for the mains as well. Um, we can decide whether we're going to start charging our battery or not, which battery we're going to be drawing power from. Um, we can also have a display of the voltage on the battery and it will also isolate our lights and this one is actually for our USB sockets. Got a little magazine rack there. Onto the kitchen unit itself we've got a little gas storage cupboard with our little camping gas bottle. This is a 907 bottle and we can switch it here on the top. There's also a retaining strap inside there and a drop out vent as well. This side we've got some storage so we can keep some food provisions in there uh, as well as maybe a few pots and pans and things like that. And we've also got some more storage up here in the shelf unit. And also at the very top we've got a two hob burner here made by Dometic. Uh, we've got these lovely little Mexican tiles across the back as well as a splashback. I particularly like this guy here chilling out. And we've also repurposed this old brass pan as well and the pump which as you can see you can just manually pump water through like so. 
Our little roof light here features a fly net as well as a blackout blind. We've got two LED lights across here. They're both touch sensitive, so there's no switch in here. You just simply touch them like so, and you can also dim them with your finger as well. And they've got a lovely warm white glow to them. Over on this side, next to all of our tongue groove cladding that we've got, we have this lovely little wooden oak map that's been cut out by hand using a scroll saw. And we've also got all of our cushions set out here. All I'll do is I'll quickly show you how the bed sets up. So as I mentioned before, this bench seat converts into the bed itself. So what we need to do is we need to pop out the slat. So we can pop this out of place and then we can pull it out like so. And as you can see where this one's already heading, that that can be used as part of the cushions for the mattress. So I'm just gonna pull this all the way out. Now, if you have a look on this side, then you can see there's little holes here. There's little dowels on the end of this leg and that will just slot into place just to stop it getting accidentally kicked over in the night or falling over. And these cushions will then Fill these gaps like so. I want to pop in there. So that's kind of what it looks like underneath. And then we've got a bed. So the bed, believe it or not, is actually over six feet long. Over up the boot of the van, we've got this little LED storm light that drops down. Um, this also acts as a bit of a rain cover as well if you want to cook outside. But we can also make the preparation area a little bigger. Now, this sort of Aztec design table will normally slot in behind one of those sliding doors there when you're not using it, and you can connect it onto the end of the kitchen unit just to open up this sort of worktop space, especially on a nice day like today. And there's an adjustable table leg here, uh, which you can make taller or shorter, depending if there's a bit of a dip in the ground. And this just opens up the sort of preparation area. As you can see here, we've got a couple of curtains as well for the back door. So inside here, we've got our bin, as well as two 9 litre jerry cans as well, that carry the wastewater as well as the fresh water to our hand pump tap and our sink. And on this sliding door, we've got a couple of curtains their tie backs and above us here we've got our carbon monoxide alarm as well um, in case of any eventualities when the gas isn't burning properly and also over here we've got this little net as well that ties between the two seats uh, which can just give a little bit of extra storage as well don't be like this guy if you have regular bowel movements you can remove the storage box for the porta party so it's a little bit windy today but we've got this custom canopy all set out to show you as well this is made out of two pieces of material that resistant and it's also waterproof it's obviously handy we've got the four warning poles as well and then the guy ropes are just tightening that off now over here on the roof rack is the attachment points for the awning itself this is a custom made roof rack i'll talk about that in just a second but there's just these little snap hooks here that fix onto these plates and they go onto the eyelets of the canopy and there's three of those across here one at the end as well Speaking of the roof rack, this is a custom roof rack. This is made out of pine and it's been varnished many times to make sure that water is not going to get in it. As you can see, it's got that nice sort of semicircular shape to the front of it, like a lot of the retro kind of VW camper vans have. And there's a lot of these uh, attachment plates like we have here for our canopy all the way around so that you could get some bungee rope, so you could get some netting at some point in the future. And then you could put something like our suitcase here on top of it to open up your opportunities to take things with you. The van also comes with a very tiny roof light. Inside the cab area, we put this overhead storage made out of pine. We put this custom decal across here. And on both the door panels, we've also customized the material just to make it a little funkier as well.
Thanks for stopping by everybody. Please like and subscribe and check out our other content on all things camper. As I mentioned before, I've just recorded my first album. We'll need all the help I can get. So I'll leave you with an album preview for now and a link in the description if you'd like to pick up a copy. She does all that she can You put their cold and harsh demeanor It'll soon come